welcome back to Traveling with Crushworth. On this exciting episode, our base for exploring Cochrane, Alberta on a weekend away is a wonderful tiny house. Follow us, we'll gladly show you some of the best things to do when you visit this awesome town. Please like and subscribe as Yes Eeks helps motivate us to make more travel content. Oh, and thank you for all your recent comments and don't forget to ring the bell and turn on notifications. Get some coffee. Hot drink and a treat? Cochrane Coffee Traders hits the spot. Perfect fuel for any local adventure. Having celebrated its 10th anniversary in 2021, the Yamniska Wolfdog Sanctuary is a safe haven for the animals needing a second lease on life. This sanctuary offers different experiences, including an interactive tour on which Kevin and I fed and met the dogs up close. A wolfdog can have different levels of dog DNA and are classified based on low, medium and high wolf content. Don't get upset if it's rainy when you visit, as that can be when these majestic animals are most active. Learn about the challenges faced by this breed and the efforts this team goes to protect displaced, rescued and surrendered wolf dogs. Hi, we're at Hereabouts B&B. Come follow me and we'll show you all there is to see at this wonderful place. So as you can see, there is a beautiful garden as you sort of go through the gates and walk on to the, the little stay itself. And there's a beautiful little deck that you can sit on with some like gorgeous blue chairs. I'm excited to sit there with Kevin, maybe in the morning, maybe for breakfast, we'll yes. see. <laughs> Welcome to our humble abode for a couple of nights. As you can see, this is the beautiful kitchen. Uh, we'll be using this tonight and we will show you what we will be making and um, from the kitchen we have a cute little space for a dining table and some seats with a really beautiful like little vase of flowers which always makes the dining experience a lot better and you can't fault the decor either because it is beautiful all around and over here we have a little bit of a seating area, a lovely coffee table, natural kind of woods and yeah, it's just stunning. And a nice fireplace, but we will not be using it because we've had a bit of a heat dome. Too hot to use, <laughs> but maybe next time. <laughs> and over here we have a lovely little sort of sit-in place, you can do some reading. Um, there's some lights, you can adjust it, so if you're looking for a neat space to read a book. We're in the bedroom of our tiny home. Um, it is amazing. It's this cute little nook um, area and you know everything that you would want, like lots of light coming in and so we are excited to be here and next I'll uh, show you into the bathroom, which is very important. In here, obviously, a walk-in shower. And the facilities are just super clean and just what you want. Oh, hi, you found me up here. As you can see, I've made myself a lovely little home. It's a really neat space to kind of look out and get a good view of the sky and sort of the neighborhood and again perfect spot for reading so you're never short of spaces to have a little R&R &R time but I think I'm gonna make my way down again it's supper time and we're having veggie wraps this was tahini and lemon. Off camera, I've added hummus as well as some peppers and cucumbers. The potato salad is inspired by my uncle's recipe with added ham, tomato, Italian seasoning and a dash of Tabasco. As for our green salad, it has green peppers, spinach, kale, cucumbers, tomatoes, feta cheese and a lemon vinaigrette dressing.
it is absolutely pouring out, but we still thought it was a good idea to visit the Bubble Tea Brewers. And I went for the Oreo and I got some uh, lychee, lychee, I don't know how to say it quite right. <laughs> so, but anyways, I got the Pearl Poppers, so I'm pretty excited to uh, tuck into that. But I just pulled off like a little bit of candy. Mmm. Really good. And then they've also got like sprinkles and mini Oreos around the side of the cups. And as you can see, they got the big Oreo pieces and some cream on top. And it's all chocolate because you can't go wrong with chocolate. I got the Ferrero hazelnut. I've got marshmallows, I've got strawberries, and like Lizzie, I've got the sprinkles and the Oreos. This is the perfect supper dessert drink and not ridiculous at all. Today, it's a well-loved park with amazing trails, yet the Cochrane Ranch site has always played an important part in local history, starting with the First Nations, whose story on this land began centuries ago. In 1881, the Canadian government sanctioned this spot for the first large-scale cattle operation at what was then the Northwest Territories. The Quebec senator who sponsored it, Matthew Henry Cochrane. Next, we're off and away on a hike in Glenbow Ranch Provincial Park. Don't be like us, bring lots of water for your visit. Walk the rolling hills, stand at the ruins of the store and post office, the last reminder of the former boom town of Glenbow, now taken over by the native grasslands. In the early 20th century, men came from around the world to work the quarry, the sandstone that built Calgary. Back in Cochrane and ready for dinner, we hit up My Greek Plate. Our appetizer, Spanica Pita. Lizzie, what do you think? Inside we got a bit of spinach and feta and it's got um, phyllo pastry on it and we got some tzatziki sauce, which I'm gonna dip into. Mm. You gotta try this. Delicious chicken souflaki for me. Awesome moussaka for Lizzie. It's time for something sweet, so we're on to Cochrane's oldest family business and iconic dessert stop, McKay's Ice Cream, opened in 1948. Now this is a summertime staple. Lizzie, what kind of ice cream <laughs> did you get? Well, I got a sugar cone, and then I got a kid scoop of butterscotch ripple. <laughs> and how about you, Kev? Well, as, as you can see, I got the always delicious black cherry. Nope. And black forest. Oh, uh, I got the uh, one of my favorites, um, black forest. Wow, and it's in a waffle cone and I got a single scoop. Can't wait! Our Airbnb stay included amazing breakfasts. Good morning everyone, this is Rhee and Walnut Stuffed French Toast. The beautiful sa sourdough um, with local free-range eggs. The compote is uh, garden rhubarb and organic app 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 apples and there's maple syrup as well we have some organic milk and i believe kevin has some organic coffee for his uh breakfast today so i'm pretty excited to have all this like good good food so i'm also gonna try a little bit of the maple but i'm gonna oops Spread it and also drip it everywhere, my bad. <laughs> okay, and like Kevin, I'm gonna try a little bit of this rhubarb and apple. Spread it on there. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is just fantastic. Thank you for watching this episode of Traveling with Crushworth. To return to Kananaskis country, click the link to the left. To follow us to Crow's Nest Pass, Alberta, click the link to the right. We'd love to hear about your adventures in Cochrane in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and don't hesitate to watch other videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.